When thinking about problems confronting Ohio State students, we immediately looked into the safety of off-campus students. The more we discussed it, the more we realized that this might be a gender-charged issue after I mentioned I always carry pepper spray, while Bryce said he mostly felt comfortable. We hypothesized that women would be less likely to travel off-campus, possibly varying during the time of day or the area they were in after some research. According to Unraveling the Fear of Victimization Among College Women, Fisher says women in college are at a higher risk than women of other ages. That article led Emily to find the article, Is the Shadow of Sexual Assault Responsible for Women's Higher Fear of Burglary? This article shows strong correlations between the two and females supporting their hypothesis. Women aren't the only one who have fears when walking off campus. It's just that their fears are differently charged. Mostly, men are more likely to worry about being murdered than sexually assaulted than women, according to The Shadow of Physical Harm, examining the unique and gendered relationship between fear of murder versus fear of sexual assault on fear of violent crime. When we went out and about on the Oval with the rest of the class, we surveyed 30 fellow Buckeyes with this handout, asking first if they felt comfortable walking off campus. If they answered yes, we followed up with when and where they felt safe. After gathering the results and entering them into an Excel sheet for further scrutiny, we found some trends in the data. First off, we'll look into the demographics of those who were surveyed. Out of 30 students, 21 were female and 9 were male. Past gender, the race of those who answered, were predominantly white, with 3 African Americans and 1 Asian also taking the time to fill the survey out. When analyzing the first question, whether students felt safe off campus, we found that both men and women didn't feel safe. The red in the graph represents females, and the blue represents males. In the end, only five students felt absolutely no safety off campus. Further analysis goes into the 25 students who said they, at one point or another, felt safe by walking off campus. The graph shows percentages and the reasons why they felt safe. They felt comfortable during the day, they felt comfortable in the area that was well lit, or if they had a friend on High Street, and some people always felt comfortable. The interesting part is that when we break down this information by gender, you can see that female answers vary greatly when the males who answered followed up with just one answer. They always felt comfortable. One of the limitations was that we only interviewed 30 people and only 25 of those people were able to give us full answers that were necessary for the end graphs. Other limitations were that we only gathered information from students who were near the library when we could have received very different opinions if we had only asked in a normal classroom area near the gateway. In conclusion, gender may play a role in the reasons toward whether or not females feel safe off campus, but our hypothesis has not been truly supported through our surveys since most women, about 86%, feel comfortable walking off campus at some point. Some tips that we found in our research from Hoffman, before walking several blocks home from campus, call for an escort, and Batty advises when walking to your car alone you should be alert. You are more likely to be robbed if you are isolated.